Yeah, and comparatively speaking, though, this is going to feel warm to mm. where we will be going. Yeah, we've got a few mornings that we'll be waking up in the teens, and that's going to be as soon as Friday. Uh, yeah, so we've got the roller coaster ride for us coming out there today. So today it's on the upside mm. before we go on the wee part I tomorrow. Mean, and that wee, I mean, we're going to hit the rock bottom mm, yes. so fast, making tomorrow a little bit of a backwards day as we'll hit that high around midnight. But today mm. we are on the upswing. Yeah, right, we are on the upswing for us out there. Right now we are starting with cold weather over Middle Tennessee and South Central Kentucky. One note from Snow Watch, our friends over in Fentress County have put a note in the Snow Watch that's on newschannel5.com that they're going to run late today. So Fentress County running late this morning. Let's show you what is happening right now. This is Sky 5 for us this morning. And right now we've got a partly to a mostly cloudy start. More clouds from Nashville to the north. A little bit more in the way of clear skies as you get south of Nashville and then back over into West Tennessee. People are putting out their Christmas colors, including Rutherford County. A little red on the courthouse there this morning from our camera at One Public Square, where right now it is 33 degrees. Today, milder and breezy. Winds may gust over 20, 25 miles per hour today with highs in the 50s. Tomorrow, another Arctic blast. Highs tomorrow, nearly 20 degrees cold older than what we'll see for today. Meanwhile, Friday morning, a high of 38, but for most of you, even in the metro area, temperatures in the teens at sunrise this time on Friday morning. So for today, Hendersonville 53, Centerville 54, 52 out of the Waverly area, near 50 out of Livingston, Sparta, Tullahoma reports in at about 51 later today. Then that blast of cold air moving in to the Mid-South Forest for tonight. Right now, though, not much. Got a few clouds that are showing up here on our satellite photograph for us, but we'll pull this out. We can see the initial cold front, and then a little further out, there is that Arctic blast that is on the way for us, and that will keep us cold for Thursday, Friday, and then Nikki D, those numbers start to moderate a bit going into the weekend. I mean, Leland, we're going from below average to above for that weekend time frame. Here's a live look. Look at this gorgeous home. Thank you all for leaving your lights on for those of us that work the midnight shift. We love seeing those lights, too. Absolutely stunning view. Thanks to Sky 5 giving us just a beautiful Christmas start to our day. Winds today will be quite gusty coming in out of our south-southwest, and that's also what's going to aid in warming us up. You've got that compression temperature spike, and you've got that gradient that will produce some gusts into the upper 30s at times. Now, as we transition into tomorrow, winds will slowly decrease, but it's still going to be enough to bring a wind chill. Now, Leland showed you today's highs, but I want you to notice how we do linger in the 50s. It's not just a quick peak and then we tumble. I look for us to be around 51 degrees at lunchtime. After lunch, we're going to hold steady in those 50s, even as the sun starts to set. So with this system, it's looking to be more of a weather changer in the way of temperatures not so much a rainmaker can't roll out one or two spotty showers a little bit of a light drizzle as this does move through but overall that's not looking to be in the cards you'll just see a little bit more cloud cover and a lot of times these models get confused as to the moisture in the air versus the moisture falling from the sky tomorrow though beautiful bright just downright cold here's a look at the temperature trend for thursday we're going to hit that higher number around midnight at eight o'clock 31 we'll dip into those up 20s and we're going to hover in the 30s as we go throughout the day struggling even to get above freezing but then you account for a little bit of wind and it's going to feel like some of our afternoon time frame will be spent in the upper teens and 20s now we stay dry going into saturday by the time sunday rolls around we'll start to have some rain chances being reintroduced as well as into monday not a washout but it is going to be our next best chance of rain high today topping out 53 and it is going to be breezy tomorrow kind of that backwards day afternoon numbers will be topping out flirting right around those upper 20s, low 30s. Teens in the city Friday, outlying area single digits with a high of 38 Friday. And then Leland, mm -hmm. we catapult up to a warmer weekend. Uh, yeah, so look at that going into Saturday, 50 degrees. Going into Sunday, 57. Low 60s early next week, but then some rain chances begin to return into our forecast.